Hey there guys, it's me, Jenny, Vintage Soul Crafter, and I am tired. It is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Um, my mom is here visiting, and our daughter came from Southern California, and tomorrow we are going and riding on the Polar Express here in Sacramento. It is one of my mom's favorite Christmas stories, but I wanted to share with you what I have been working on, and this is my craft space right now in my craft room that's my new um my husband just got it for me from harbor freight tools and it's gonna hold all kinds of goodies and if i wasn't lazy i would probably paint it some gorgeous turquoisey color but ain't nobody got time for that right now so maybe later maybe later right now it's gonna be fun and utilitarian and so forth and i got some like you know um, industrial type stuff in here anyway, which I love, like my lockers, which Bonnie, hey Bonnie, says I can't, I can't paint them because I would probably paint those some really cool turquoise things. Anyway, this is my workspace right now because it's, like I said, I took on one too many projects, but what I want to share with you real quickly, and I am going to be listing some of these tomorrow. I hope you're interested. I hope you like them. I so enjoyed making, um, the Traveler's Notebook, standard size notebook for my my niece for her birthday that I figured, okay, I can make more of those, except I forgot I had like 10 other projects. That's an exaggeration. It's probably more like five other, but anyway, um, things that I was doing. And so, and then I'm like, oh, I can make one of each size or a couple of each size or whatever. So yeah, you know. And these are all reclaimed fabrics. Some of them I went bin diving for. Some of them um, I've just found on my mini excursions and treasure hunts and so forth. And I'm, I'm really excited about them. I'm very pleased with how they've turned out. And I'm going to hopefully, like I said, get a couple of them listed um, before we go off to the Polar Express tomorrow in my Etsy shop, which, by the way, right now, if you buy two or more items, it doesn't matter which items they are in my shop, you get 15% off, so off of your total. So these will also be included with that. You guys, I have so much I need to list and... Um, you know, but the holidays and family, they take priority and we had a, a tragedy in our family today. Um, actually it was last night. My niece, uh, was in a, uh, a, an awful, awful car accident. And, um, so that's kind of, you know, put a little bit of a, a gray cloud on our Thanksgiving, but we have also enjoyed our Thanksgiving and um, and we're blessed and we're thankful that she is alive and she seems to be showing improvement, um, but is definitely not out of the woods. She is in critical condition and I, I appreciate your prayers. I really, I truly do. So anyway, though, you know, um, things continue to move forward. I know that I learned that with uh, with my dad. And, um, you know, as much as I wanted life to stop and everybody to, to say, hey, wait, you know, somebody's passed away here. It, it doesn't work like that. Life's not like that. So, um, you know, we get to still enjoy things. I think it's possible, uh, as I learned from a, a dear, dear friend and mentor of mine, my former boss of nine, nearly nine years, Glenda, that um, there are more than one thing can occupy a space at the same time and we can hold grief and we can hold joy all at the same time. So I hold the joy of Thanksgiving, I hold the, the joy of Christmas and all that is to come and the joy of creating these hopefully for potentially one of you. Um, but real quickly, this is the kitty one. And I'm doing this one-handed because I was just so excited to share them and I haven't shared because life, you know, has just been busy with the holidays and everything that I haven't been able to get with family and all of that um, going. So I'm doing this one-handed and I'm going to do my best. This is a kitty one and it seemed appropriate since it's Christmas and it's kitties to have a little bell on there. These are all vintage ornaments. As I said, these are all reclaimed fabrics that I either went bin diving for or have found on one of my mini excursions. So I'm happy about that many of the um, 
of the fabrics that I have collected did go to the hospice. Um, I think I shared that before. The quilters, no, I can't think of it right now, but anyway, because it's like almost midnight here too. Um, so yeah, so this has, it kind of reminded me of like, you know, a little kitty toy, a little ball. So I went ahead and and included that. And what I want to say about these is what I've kind of been, you know, pondering and meditating on as I've been creating them is these are these are my perfectly imperfect creations. And I want you to Google perfectly imperfect. Uh, I think, I don't know, Urban Dictionary, I'm kind of hesitant to ask you to look that up because you can find some really weird, inappropriate things on that website. But Perfectly imperfect. Initially, I thought of Mary Poppins. I shared a little bit of this before, and practically, in, practically perfect in every way. And these are practically perfect in every way, but they aren't perfect. These journals are for those of us who are recovering, in, recovering perfectionists. I almost always say recovering imperfectionists. You know, the art of imperfection is what I say, and embracing that art. And when I say that, when I say these are perfectly imperfect, it means just that. I've never created this number of, and this, like, to this extent, these things. I've only created a few, and I have made mistakes. But having said that, these are well made. I know these are well made and I love them and I believe in them and I would own any one of them and they will give you pleasure for a long time. Will they eventually fall apart? Yes, they will. But unlike my kitchen maid, kitchen maid, okay, I don't have a kitchen maid. I don't pay anybody to be the maid in my kitchen. Kitchen aid is what I'm saying, which is less than a year old and a whole bunch of the powder coating on one of the... Um, you know, doohickeys that mixes things has chipped off. And there ain't no reason for that because it gets hand washed and it gets treated quite well. And it's not like I'm, you know, baking things that are metal or anything. Um, but unlike that, which shouldn't have shown that kind of wear uh, in, in just a year, these are going to last you longer than that. And and there are, there are little things like not all of the lines are sewn straight or um, like right here, you know, you see how that thread is a little bit cray cray right there or um, I don't know, you know, like there's just various different, they're minor things as a whole, but I think, I think it's so important, you know, um, when, when looking at and examining art and this isn't about creating something for me anyway, and if you need something that's just like absolutely, totally, perfectly perfect, then these aren't for you, and I'm okay with that. But if you are like me, and you're learning to say, you know what, that's good enough. And um, that doesn't mean you you don't strive for um, for quality, because I absolutely do. I do not want to sell you something that you're not going to love owning or that you're not going to, um, you know, that's going to just fall apart on you. But I have made sure that I have created these well and they're not perfect. Okay. They're not perfect. I would challenge anyone to find anything in this world that is perfect. So like right there. All right. I am not an expert seamstress and, but I tell you what, these will probably last you longer than some of the clothes that we pay a whole lot of money for. So let me just open this up. Like I said, I'm doing this single-handed because I was just excited and I wanted to share them with you. And inside here, we have a couple little pockets. In addition to these two little pockets, there's this sort of hidden pocket right up here on the inside of this. They all, I think all of them have a hidden pocket. I couldn't be 100% sure. Um, I don't, I don't remember, honestly. And if I had all kinds of time in the world, I would have made um, inserts for these as well. But that was just not to be. So, um, as you can see, like, you know, is that expert? No, that's probably not expert. Is it well made? Yeah, it's well made. It ain't going anywhere. That's just from the, uh, the thread kind of looping back over, you know, as I, as I sewed it. Uh, so that's the kitty one. 
And then this one is the little nature one. Again, vintage buttons, vintage rickrack, vintage lace, and found fabrics. Um, the felt I did get from from Michaels. We I grew up with. I still have mine, and I made for my kids. Uh, this is a little squirrel and an acorn to go, and a bell to go with the kind of nature, backyard nature sort of theme going on there. I made um, just like my mom did. Uh, felt red felt Christmas stockings for my kids. Oops, one just fell. And um, so I love, you know, I love felt. I used a little bit of fancy stitch in there. Felt the fancy when I did it. And there's a couple, like you can see here, a couple little pockets right here on this puppy. And then you open it up and I created a little pin or pencil pocket on that side and if that side has something then no it's not like that on all of them but I did make a pocket on this one it just felt like it needed a friend you know what I'm saying so I made a pocket on that and then here's the back there's no there's no pocket or anything on the back but this is what I'm talking about like you can see like you know I have the hardest time cutting a straight line with pinking shears I did finally get one of those rolly and I figured out how to change the blade on the on the rolly cutter fabric cutter and so um, my lines got a little straighter as I go but that's what I mean perfectly imperfect it's not um, this is embracing the art of imperfection is the line that goes across here perfectly straight no it's not no it's not this one's pretty darn good if I do say so myself and I do say so myself um, but that's, that's what I'm talking about. So, like I said, these, these are pieces, I'm going to sit myself down here. These are pieces for the recovering perfectionist like myself. And, um, and they're lovely. I, I love them. I'm happy with these. So this one, I, I adore this fabric and I sewed on this, this little trim here as well. And um, what I really, what I did with this is I just sparkled it up. I used some fabric glitter, uh, you know, that's specifically for fabric. So it's not, it doesn't, like you can rub this and it really doesn't see my finger. Normally, if that was like actual glitter glitter that I just sprinkled on, it would come off and it doesn't. So I like that about it. And I just gussied it up because the images on this fabric were, um, were pretty and they it I didn't want to mess with it you know it tells a little tells a little story here and I really didn't think it needed to have anything else done to it other than just to be pretty fied a bit so I did add these um, foam snowflakes to give it some dimension and then uh, hand stitched these sewed these uh, little vintage buttons on on each of them and um, then added this little obviously this little snowflake charm right here and so then one-handed one-handed watch it watch it look at that talent um, opening it up and this one I will tell you this one is not I got so much tools and crap going on here right now it's not even funny um, this one's not completely done because I didn't have any silver clamps, um, you know, crimping beads, I mean. And so I just tied this for now. I need to get some silver crimping beads, and I, I tied this one, which is fine. But this one needs to have a crimping bead to help keep it from going through the, um, the eyelet hole right there. And so, again, this is the other part of that fabric, and I, I just love that image of Santi and it's reindeer and so again I added a little bit of bling to it to, to gussy it up and this one actually has a pocket on this side right here and I lined it with white felt so funny funny story about this last night as I was contemplating or maybe it was the night before I can't even remember as I was contemplating you know the art of imperfection and um being perfectly imperfect and and creating this and running it through the sewing machine <laughs> I 
sewed the lining on this lining I sewed it on bass backwards and upside down so how how appropriate is that so basically it was like that was like that and then that was like that as you can see it is I, I took it out um, and you can you can see there's some little you know which will you could kind of rub the fabric back in together to get rid of those little those little holes but that's for me sewing it and then taking the stitching out because um, so yeah so definitely perfectly imperfect but is it well made yes it is well made and um, something that I again would be proud to own you know so that's that one and then oh here yeah there's one more and this one's kind of a you know a glamoury pretty botanical vintage lacy you know it's got this kind of gold um, bit of metallic in the fabric wishing you Christmas cheer and so yeah and then it's kind of also sort of pieced got the you know piece work the what do they call that uh, I can't think of it right now again it's late here and it's been quite a day so in addition to it being Thanksgiving and things being rough of course of course my daughter and I my daughter who's visiting from Southern California we got into an argument that's just a piece of thread we got into an argument mm-hmm yeah isn't that just how life goes yeah mm-hmm so um anyway uh, I mean everything's fine you know we love each other and we we figure it out and stuff but uh, like like any family we uh, we have our moments and this right here that I added to the um, elastic for this one this is from my lovely friend Bonnie this is an earring that belonged to Bonnie's mom and so I just loved how it gave a little bit of more glitz and glam to this um, this pretty Chris Christmas travelers notebook yeah you know I mean I think that's why we love shows like family vacation and vacation Christmas family vacation and all that is because we can relate we can relate to the Griswolds because life just isn't all um, Santa Claus and reindeer and elves and stuff not not really and of course that's one reason we like all of that too isn't it because life is difficult and so we need Santa Claus and reindeer and elf so anywho on this one I like to add um, I've seen them and so I do like to add the crimping instead of just tying them I did tie a couple of these as well uh, but I like that little crimp bead I don't know I think it's it's less bulky in your uh, in your notebook when you put it in there it lays flat there's no knot or anything like that this one has a pocket here and then it also has a little pocket for your pen or pencil again and you know again without compromising on quality there is definitely like is this is frayed right here but we like frayed we like frayed fabric if you if you are someone who needs it to all be neat and tidy if you don't like the little bits of thread and stuff no worries it's all good then this one is not for you just keep looking for the one that is for you but I I think that's like in nature as I've shared with you before, where you look at the whole picture of a garden and it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. When you get up close to it, it's um, it's not perfect. You know, petals and leaves have little marks on them and things aren't uh, close up. They're, they're, they're not perfect. Um, but everything as a whole taken in together is so this is a smaller I think this I think without measuring it again and being a hundred percent sure I think this is a passport size I could be wrong about that but I believe this is a passport size when I get them listed I will know that much for sure um, but yeah again because it's got kitty cats on it it's got a little bell this is a little you know vintage buttons right here and it's kind of got that little patchwork stuff going on with some of the different fabrics I did lower this band instead of doing it straight in the middle because I didn't want it to cut across this adorable orange kitty cat's face um, or look like it was going across his neck and cinching him so opening that up and here's another example of 
perfectly imperfect that uh, I suppose in an ideal, absolutely, you know, perfect world, the pocket wouldn't go underneath the band right here. But guess what? In this case, it does. Because this was made by me. This was made by a human being. And it's one whole pocket. And I wasn't going to cut the kitty cat and the wreath, you know, off right here. So, okay. So it just, you know, it goes underneath the underneath the band right there. But, um, but still, I love me pockets. These are just little, you know, little threads and stuff that... And so that's that one. And again, a little bell. Um, this one, I love this one. This one, I just was feeling free. It was just one of those nights when like, I was able to just let loose and let go with myself a little bit and take the different pieces and of uh, fabric and lace and whatever that I had and completely just you know, just like, just go for it. Just go for it. And doesn't that feel good when you just go for it like that and lay them all down and, and then just sew it all in together and stuff? I love that. This right here, these, you'll see it on a couple of them. This is actually a piece of clothing that I took apart. Um, and it was just such a really pretty shade of Christmas red. And so it, it, it works even though it's not the exact same shade of red as the background uh, with the stockings. Um, it's It's got some of the same tones and so it works. And this one has a little Santa Claus charm on it, which was also a thrift store find. And then going inside, love, I love plaid. I think plaid is just kind of, it's like mathematics, you know, it's sort of a universal language. And this cute little stocking pocket right here so um, that is this one and again is it totally cut totally and perfectly straight no but it is sewn it's not going anywhere and it is going to serve its purpose faux show and I mean look come on but I did like go around you know with my sewing machine which I'm learning and getting better and better on and and had fun with that one. Um, these ones right here, I still need to get the elastic on, but I will share them with you. And uh, I, I love, again, this was part of the same evening where I just let myself be free. And um, I started trying to add other things to this one, but I'm like, nope, nope, I like it. It doesn't, it just doesn't. Everything I put on there, you know, other little pieces like I did over here where I had these, these kind of pieces, but everything that I tried, just it just wasn't working so I thought okay well there's a reason for that and it's because this is enough this this will do and you got to learn when to when to stop too right and that's definitely something I'm constantly learning so anyway another little vintagey cutie patootie button right there and then this one once the elastic is right here on this one pressing this down uh, with your notebook then you'll have on either side sort of a little you know like fabric belly band shall we say uh, yeah so that's that one I like this one I like the size too it feels just like a, a nice size I can't remember what this size is called I have all these written down but I'm not savvy savvy enough to remember them and this is that this is the same same size um, I remember that the passport and the other one, whichever this one is, are the same width, but one is, no, are they the same width, but one is taller? Yeah, that's it. See, you can see one is taller than the other. I love this one too. I love them all. You guys, I love them all. I, they feel good in your hand. They have so much texture and they have just a little bit of bling but they have that little vintage feel too with all the sweet buttons that are just so fun to add and and um, a little bit of vintage lace on this one and and there's that bit of clothing right here and I had fun with my stitching and rick rack and here I felt like oh I need to I need to close this gap like this is just over here by itself it needs to be connected but you know, that's part of the recovering from perfectionism is, nope, no, it doesn't. This is, this works. This is just fine over here like it is. And 
learning when to say, I'm happy with that, and letting go of, oh, but what would this person say? Or what would that person say? I will I will add with this one, I do need to trim the um, the inside cover was a little bit is a little bit too wide so I do need to trim that and I will take care of that before I I list it or send it off to anyone this one has a little pocket as well as I said I need to add the um, the elastic on it but I like this one too it's feels good it's sweet I like it and I think this last one that I'm gonna know this isn't the last one I'll show I'll wait I'll show it to you last but this is a mini Okay, and actually the last one I'm going to show you is also a mini. I'll show them to you next to each other. This one's this one's a mini though. This one really is a mini, and I love this one too. It's so cute. It's so sweet. Again, I need the elastic. I haven't gotten to that. I was trying to get them all done this evening, but <sighs> got into an argument with our daughter, and then um, you know with the family family things that happened today it just um it was just it just didn't happen so and i'm i cooked i made filet mignon okay so yesterday and i'm not trying to toot my own horn but bop bop um yesterday i my husband had to work today and uh, so and yesterday as well and tomorrow as well and um and saturday but um that's okay he loves it it's what he does and um so anyhow that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm trying to say is I made turkey and, you know, a bunch of food for him to take and feed the other people because I, I love to do that. So anyway, and then I made filet mignon today and some roasted vegetables and I made another pie. I made a pumpkin pie for my husband. I made our family's Indiana cream pie and homemade pie crust. And it's just so satisfying to do all of that. So anyhow, but it all takes time. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, this one is a cute. This is a mini mini and it has the rick rack and lots of little patchwork pieces and so forth and so on. So very pretty, kind of mini elegant, mini elegant. And then this is actually my favorite. Sorry, you're going to hear a bunch of noise in the background. Garbage day is tomorrow and so our neighbor, they always take their garbage cans out really late. Like it's like midnight here, but they always take their garbage cans out really late. So this actually is my favorite one. I wonder if I need to, should I embrace the art of imperfection and try to loosen that bit of lace up from, from my sewing right there or should I just leave it? <sighs> I don't know. I suppose if you really love this one, I didn't even notice that until just now because I love this one. Okay, so this is actually the same size. The lining is the same size as this. This is a mini mini. But what happened with this is this was, again, on on an evening when I'm just like, just going for it. You know, I, I feel the freedom to create with uninhibited, um, you know, and just laying stuff laying stuff down and so that's what I did I just laid it across this little piece of felt which probably the night before I I couldn't do anything with it but I found this lovely at Marshall's like I said if you have not gone to Marshall's or TJ Maxx and tech checked out all of their um, Christmas trimmings and ribbons and tags and all that stuff. It's so fun. It's so, so fun. The wrapping paper. And this is a bit of that um, little dress that I got from bin diving that I, um, Goodwill bin diving that I, I took apart and I just loved, you know, that it was kind of off white and I don't know, you know, it, it had been worn and loved and, but I, and I also really liked the, the red color in it. So yeah, so it was just basically a matter of laying all these across and, you know, kind of doing this little bit of quilting and, um, and then I just left the red felt. I didn't put any pockets or anything in this one and I love the stitching as well. I did one because what I decided, I put this cool, cool vintage leather button and I'm going to do an elastic band. We'll just pull over instead of having an elastic band that goes all the way across. Of course, it will still have the two um, elastic bands here for your, your inserts. But I, this, this is my favorite. This is, I love them all. I really do. There's something about each of them that I love, you know, that I put myself into. But this one's, this one's scrunchy. It's scrunchy. And after I did it, I had, in, I had, 
you know, anticipated cutting off these edges. This is why this one's a, a, a little, little, little. That's why this one is a little bit bigger is because I just couldn't, I loved the way it looked with these little, these little ends, you know, um, un, untrimmed, unperfect. I love it. And oh, I, I would keep this one if I could, because this is like the perfect size to stick in your purse. Any of the smaller ones are, but definitely this one. Here comes my Otis. He's like, what happened to you, mama? Um, we were watching TV and I'm like, I just need to show everybody these. I'm so excited about them. So yeah, this is just, this is scrunchy. I, oh, I just, I love, I love this one. So if you get this one, I'm excited for you to get them. These will be, I believe, reasonably priced. And again, any two or more items out of my shop, you get 15% off. Here's my buddy wondering where I am. So I'm going to say good night. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed, who has left really sweet, nice comments, who relates to, um, you know, this is life, right? This is it. Ratchet as it is sometimes, this is life, which that's a whole nother story. The word ratchet um, had a hysterical time with our daughter. Oh, same one I got into an argument with. We had a hysterical time last night. She was doing Snapchat with me. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. So anyway, thank you. Thank you for um, for subscribing and tuning in. And uh, I appreciate your comments. Please feel free, ask any questions, leave any comments, anything you can relate to. Love it, hate it, otherwise thumbs up and all that other good YouTube stuff. So happy Thanksgiving from our house to yours and I will say good night.